Kevin, where are we right now? We're at Ronaldo's house and uh, we're doing this tunnel right now. Dude, uh, we saw this before. It's this cast iron stuff. Yes. So, you know, what what is happening under there? So there. right now he has um, a couple crack, breakage, leaks, all the nine yards. Um, we jetted this before and it didn't do anything. And um, we just need to replace. It's it's broken under there. So and that's something that happens with this cast iron stuff because it's just so old. Yeah. After a while, um, this cast iron just rots away. You know, it eats eats it from the inside. So that's what's happening now. It de deteriorates after years and years and years. Well, what's going on is the uh, PVC pipe is obviously new. We have the cast iron piping. The entire house is still existing cast iron piping. As you can see, this is supposed to be a three inch pipe, okay? You can see all the knuckled up, I mean, just completely calcified. I mean, it's just, it, it's completely tore up. Um, this isn't actually di the diameter of the pipe. The pipe's only three inch, but as, as you can see, this is more than four inches. So that's just complete just build up on the pipe and all that causes the uh, pipe to break um, and it, it breaks from the inside out so if the pipe's looking like this on the outside imagine what it looks like on the inside cast iron is outdated life expectancy is only 30 30 to 35 years and well most homes are already past the life expectancy over we've got if you look on the bottom side right here the pipe is completely tore up broke there's toilet paper hanging out of it right there um, it's just leaking away. I mean, and this isn't even the worst part. This is considered a good part of his pipe. So when we start getting back towards, you know, the end of the house and the bathroom groups and the kitchen laundry, I mean, for example, right now his pipes are so broken and that his showers aren't even draining. And the reason it's not draining because the pipe is so broken, the pipe has too much sand in it and the sand has created a dam within the pipe itself. No kidding. So right. that's kind of where we're at now with it. So, but as you can see, it's all cracked, leaking, broke. It's just old, old, old piping. All right, Patrick. So, um, talk to me about why someone would want to dig a hole into their house as opposed to just, you know, the traditional methods. Of, well, the traditional of method of fixing your sewer lines is removing the bathrooms, removing the showers, removing the toilets, removing vanities, removing your kitchen, removing your cabinets, removing walls. Breaking, saw cutting, basically tearing your whole house up, and turning it into a three month construction construction site. My way of doing this, I don't touch anything in a house whatsoever. I replace all of their piping from underneath. They can still stay in a home. Their house is not a construction site. It's just the new way of doing things. It's way better, more efficient. I mean, yeah, it's more work, but it's better for the client. And you've never shied away from a little work, have you? No, I have not. <laughs> So, I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, how would you feel if you had to tear up your entire house? Well, it's just, you know, it's rough. Yeah. It's, no, it is. It's, it's a little dirty for you, but it saves them a whole lot of grief. It saves the clients a whole lot of grief, and what we're after is, you know, clients, client satisfaction, putting their, you know, taking care of the house. It's the Bruno way. Yeah, it's our way. <laughs> sure. I right, know.